engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey guys, Halfway Dead here with yet another episode of Rocket Science. This one is going to be all about crates. What is there to talk about? Well, I'm here to talk about the odds of each of the items and all the numbers that will hopefully help you with trading in the future. In order to make this video, I unboxed around 2500 crates, which set me back by quite a bit of money. Okay, for real though, what I actually did is watch a lot of crate unboxings on YouTube and Twitch. Alright, let's get straight to the data now. Out of the 2540 items open from the crates, 54% were rare, 28.2% were very rare, 12.4% were imports, 3.9% were exotics, and 1.5% were black market items. If we don't want to make any assumptions, then these are the best guesses we can make for the real percentages. However, it's quite unlikely that Psyonix would set the percentage of rares to exactly 53.98%, so in order to get a feel for where the real percentage might be, we can calculate a confidence interval of our data. A confidence interval tells us how sure we can be that the real percentage has to be within a certain range. As an example, a 95% confidence interval for the rares in our data is 52% to 55.9%. That means that we can be 95% sure that the real percentage to get a rare item out of a crate is somewhere in that range. If we want to be extra sure, we can calculate a 99.7% confidence interval, which for the rares would be 51% to 56.9%. With this knowledge, we can conclude that it's almost impossible for the real percentage to be 50% as previously assumed by many, unless I made some major mistakes while collecting the data. The 95% confidence intervals for the other item qualities are 26.4% to 30% for very rares, 11.1% to 13.7% for imports, 3.2% to 4.7% for exotics, and 0.98% to 1.93% for black market items. One possible set of percentages would be 55% rare, 27.5% very rare, 12.5% import, 3.5% exotic, and 1.5% black market. However, as I've said before, we can't tell for sure unless Psyonix discloses the real percentages in the future. And because of that, any of the upcoming calculations will not use these assumed values. Item rarities were not the only data I collected. I also counted the number of certified and colored items. 11.7% of the items were certified and 17.5% of the wheels were painted. Once again though, we need to calculate the confidence intervals. For certified items, we got 10.4% to 12.9%, but for colored items, it's 11.9% to 23.1%. Why is the range that big? While every item out of a crate can be certified, only the wheels can be colored. Until a recent hotfix, truckers weren't even able to drop painted. Due to all that, my dataset only contains 175 items that could have possibly dropped colored. It's simply too small to make an accurate prediction. The odds of getting a painted certified item seem to be both chances multiplied with each other, but once again the dataset is not large enough to be 95% sure. Another way to think about chances that can be a bit more intuitive is 1 in X. 1 in 1.9 crates is going to contain a rare item. 1 in 3.5 a very rare item, 1 in 8 an import item, 1 in 25 an exotic item, and 1 in 69 a black market item. If we're talking about specific items, then the numbers start to go up even higher. A specific black market item is going to drop on average one time every 275 crates. So next time you're hoping for the heat wave to drop, you might want to consider actually just trading it for keys instead. Although that is of course a lot less exciting. From everything I've seen so far, the new CC4 crates seem to contain either Heatwave or one of the two new BM decals. So they will give you slightly better odds, but still not great ones. The rarest items you can get out of the crates are painted certified exotic wheels. Only one in 1250 crates is going to contain one of those. Say you would want a specific combination, like Lime Photons with Aviator certification, and you wouldn't settle for any other certification or color, then it will take you on average 450,000 crate ones to get it. Let's talk about how crates work. 
first of all, the item you'll get is determined once you open the crate. From a programmer's standpoint, it just wouldn't make any sense to predetermine the content of a crate, because it just creates unnecessary data that has to be stored somewhere, and if someone ever finds a way to get that data, it could be exploited immediately. After using the key, the item will be determined immediately and you'll get a chance to get the item upgraded to certified and for wheels also a chance to get it upgraded to painted. I know this because I've never seen an icon of a painted wheel go by. If you see a painted wheel, then you'll stop on it. Therefore, all other items that you'll go past are all fake. Also keep in mind that there's always one item above and below yours, so you will have two chances to barely miss out on a cool item, but only one chance to actually hit it. Now some of you might have seen the large scale survey that was on the Rocket League Exchange subreddit when the crates got released. I want to show you why I didn't use that data. That survey had a dataset of 5446 crates, which is more than double the size of mine. Therefore, the accuracy should be higher. Now, if we calculate a 99.7% confidence interval for the rares opened in that survey, we get 45.93% to 49.99%. As you can see, the 99.7% confidence intervals of the two datasets do not overlap. Therefore, I can say with 99.7% certainty that at least one of the datasets has to be flawed. While I do not claim that I made no mistakes, it is just more likely that a survey would have major flaws. You are relying on everyone to enter their data honestly. The OP of the study even said that he had to remove some data points, which were obviously entered by trolls. Even if no one wants to fool you, the data could still be influenced by psychological behavior, such as someone forgetting about an unimportant rare item, while they would never forget their shiny black market item. Alright, that's all the data I got for you today. The spreadsheet with everything I talked about and even more is in the video description. It might get updated in the future, though most likely when new crates get released. If you would like to know any specific odds that I didn't cover, leave a comment and I'll try my best to calculate them for you. If you want to stay up to date about this channel, please go follow my twitter at halfwaydatrl.